This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. We now continue our examination of the origins of writing, looking closely at the acrophonic principle. We begin with a definition. Acrophony is the naming of the letters of an alphabet such that the name for each letter in that alphabet begins with the letter. The acrophonic principle, then, is the use of symbols to represent other words using the sound that begins the pronunciation of each such symbol. We are now going to use the acrophonic principle to construct words, but first we need to construct our own alphabet. We are going to construct an alphabet that will use acrophony to name the letters in the alphabet. We are going to use emoji for the symbols in our alphabet. Here is a selection of the emoji symbols that we will be using. Before we go through the letters in our new emoji alphabet, I want to refresh you on the International Phonetic Alphabet. This is something that you should have previously seen during your studies in Ling 100. The International Phonetic Alphabet is a set of symbols, an alphabet, that linguists use to describe and denote the sounds across various languages. Linguists have agreed on meaning for each of these symbols. This chart gives us a set of consonants. Some of these consonants are in English, some of them are in each other human language. No human language has all of them. Similarly, there is a set of vowels and symbols to represent the various vowels. As we go forward, what you will see for each letter, I will give the symbol the name of the symbol, and the pronunciation of that symbol according to its IPA, or International Phonetic Alphabet, symbol. If you are not very comfortable with the International Phonetic Alphabet, I strongly suggest that you pause at this time and go find a, a clickable IPA chart so that you can listen to the sounds of each symbol. Let's now construct a new alphabet. In this alphabet, emojis will serve as the symbols. We are going to define the sound associated with each symbol. So this emoji will be a letter in our new alphabet. We are going to use acrophony and then eventually the acrophonic principle to construct words written in this alphabet. Our first letter is the letter balloon. The letter balloon makes the sound B. We are following acrophony by naming the letter with a word that begins with the sound that the letter represents. Balloon starts with B. We are going to follow this principle in all of the other symbols. After balloon comes dog. Dog is the second symbol in our alphabet. Dog represents the sound D. D. Dog begins with D, and thus we chose it because we are using acrophony 
to construct our alphabet. Dog stands for D. The third letter in our alphabet is folder. Folder for F. F. Because folder begins with F. The fourth letter in our alphabet is game. We're using the emoji for a game controller and naming this letter game to represent the sound g, g, game for g. So, so far we have four letters, balloon, dog, folder, game. The next letter in our alphabet is helicopter. We are using a helicopter symbol and naming this as a letter in our alphabet. So the fifth letter in our alphabet is helicopter. Helicopter for h, h. The symbol H inside the slashes is the IPA symbol for the sound The next letter in our alphabet is cat. We are using the cat face emoji symbol to represent the letter cat, which represents the sound k, k. Now, don't get confused here that we're using the symbol K. The symbol K in the International Phonetic Alphabet represents the sound we're making a distinction here between the English spelling and the sound. That's an important distinction. So the cat, the letter cat represents the sound k. Doesn't represent the English letter c. It doesn't represent the English letter k. It is its own symbol that represents the sound k. The next letter in our alphabet is light. The light bulb emoji is used to represent the letter light, which will represent the sound l, l, light for l. Next, mountain, the letter mountain. Mountain is for ma, ma. Mountain begins with ma, and so mountain represents ma. After mountain comes knife. We're using the emoji for knife and our letter is going to be called knife. The letter knife represents the n sound. Again, don't get confused by the English spelling. In English, there's a silent K at the beginning of the word knife. Because we don't pronounce it, we're going to ignore it. And knife has n as the first sound, and so the emoji knife represents the letter knife, which represents the sound n. Next, we're going to have an exception. This exception is not going to follow a crophony. What I want here is a letter in our emoji alphabet to represent the sound that comes at the end of the word ring, ring, ng. Now in English, this sound, ng, is represented by the combination of letters n, g. In some other languages, there is a single symbol to represent this sound, and we're going to do that here. So here, the ring emoji is going to represent the sound ng. Note that this is an exception to acrophony, because per acrophony, we should name this letter with a word that starts with the sound ng. But unfortunately, in English, we don't have any words that start with the sound ng. 
So instead, we're going to make an exception, and this symbol will not follow a crophony. But instead, we're going to call this letter ring, even though the ng sound is at the end of the word instead of the beginning, as all of our other symbols are following that convention. So the letter ring is going to represent the sound ng. Let's keep going with our alphabet. The letter penguin represents the sound p, p. Penguin for p. The letter rain represents the sound r. Now notice that the IPA symbol that I've used here is an upside down R. That is the IPA symbol for the R that you typically hear in American English. There are other types of R-like sounds in languages around the world. And each of those R-like sounds has a different symbol. This upside down R is the one for the R that you hear me saying in the word rain. A trilled R would have a different symbol. But because we're using this alphabet to write words in English, this is the sound that we need. Rain for R. After rain comes sun. The letter sun represents the sound S. The letter tree represents the sound T. The letter violin represents the sound V. V. Violin for V. We're getting near the end of the consonants now. The letter water represented by the emoji with three water droplets, represents the sound w, w. Recall, in all of these examples except the letter ring, the name of the letter starts with the sound that the letter represents. So water starts with a w, and so the name of the letter is water, and the letter represents the sound w. Yarn, the letter yarn, represented by the emoji with a ball of yarn, yarn represents the sound y, y. For those of you not very familiar with the International Phonetic Alphabet, don't let the J confuse you. In the International Phonetic Alphabet, by convention, the letter J, the symbol J, is used to represent the sound Y. This doesn't make intuitive sense to English speakers, but it would make intuitive sense to, for example, German speakers, because in German orthography, the J makes the Y sound. So the letter yarn is for Y. And the letter zebra is for Z. Zebra represents the sound Z. Next, we're going to go through a few letters that English doesn't have. Or rather, English uses a combination of letters like SH, TH, or CH. The letter shower represents the sound SH. sh. This is the IPA symbol for SH that you see in the slashes. Shower. The letter shower represents the sound sh. The letter chair represents the sound ch, ch. Chair for ch. The letter jet represents the sound j, j. The two symbols that you see here between the slashes are the IPA representation for the sound j, j. The letter jet makes the sound j. 
That's all of the consonants that we're going to include in our alphabet. Let's now go through some vowels. The letter ax represents the sound a, a. Ax for a. Index for i. So the letter index with an emoji of the index finger represents the sound i, i. The letter island represents the sound I, I. Now, don't get confused here. English vowels can sometimes be represented, different vowels represented by the same letter. So the letter I in index makes the sound I. The letter I in island makes the sound I. We're going to have separate symbols for each of those sounds. So the letter index makes the sound i, the letter island makes the sound i. The letter elephant makes the sound a. The letter octopus makes the sound a, which is represented by this a symbol in IPA. Octopus for a. And we have the letter orange for the sound O, O, orange for O. And finally, the letter umbrella for the sound A, uh. umbrella for A. Uh. We have now defined an entire alphabet using acrophony. Acrophony is naming the letters of an alphabet such that the name for each letter begins with that letter. The acrophonic principle is the use of symbols to represent other words using the sounds that begin the pronunciation of each symbol. Here you have four English words written out in our alphabet. Take a few minutes and see if you can sound out what this phrase means.